Howdy Internet! In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make this 120-inch projector screen from scratch. Well, let's go! Before we begin, I'd like to break down what this project actually cost me. As you can see, the projector screen was the most expensive item. I'll have links in the description below of all the items I used, including the tools. For this project, I used 1x4 common boards for the frame. I picked up all of the wood from... Be sure to take your time and grab the straightest boards you can find. I must have went through 30 or 40 boards before I found a 5 that I liked. The projector screen size that I wanted was 120 inches. I found this handy dandy website that calculated the outside dimensions of the frame that I needed to build. I'm going to use pocket holes to connect all the pieces together. With my Craig jig and the vacuum attachment, I made pretty quick work of this. This combo of my Makita drill and the Craig tool are probably my two favorite tools in my shop. One of these days, I'm going to purge all this crap from my garage. It's so hard to keep everything clean and neat when you're working on so many projects. I laid out all the pieces on the floor. The two vertical pieces in the middle are spaced about 20 inches apart. Laying down the frame on some support pieces, I used one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and glue to connect all the frame pieces together. I added these L brackets to all four corners of the frame. This just gives it a little bit more support. And for the two vertical pieces, I added these T brackets. And now for my least favorite part of the project, sanding. This is absolutely necessary because you don't want any lines showing through the screen. After my back and my knees gave out, I decided to stand the piece up. Should have thought of this earlier. I also rounded all the edges in all the corners so there's no sharp edges anywhere. I'll be using a French cleat to mount the projector screen to the wall. For this, I set a 45 degree angle on my circular saw. I found a long piece of scrap wood for the cleat piece. Since I don't have the space for a table saw, I attached two pieces of wood to the material, then clamped it to the table to make this cut. For the piece that will be attached to the wall, I found a 40 inch scrap piece and did the same cut. Again, this will all make sense later on in the video when I mount the frame to the wall. I attached a smaller piece to the two vertical supports in the middle. The angled cut facing down, of course. I added these spacers to the bottom of the screen so that the projector screen sits perfectly vertical when it's finally mounted to the wall. Nothing on the back of the screen needs to look pretty, as no one will ever see it. And finally, at this point, 
the frame build is complete. To mount the screen to the frame, you'll need a large, clean area to work with. You should have at least about a foot to a foot and a half on every side to work around the frame. I'll be using the Cinegrade screen that I bought from Carl's place. I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure you're mounting the correct side to the frame. The gray side should be facing down. I started on one side, placing two to three staples at a time. Then I moved to the other side and did exactly the same thing, stretching the screen along the way. This turned out to be pretty tedious work and my back was hurting after a while. At first it didn't look that good. However, as I kept stapling and stretching the screen, I could see all the creases start to disappear. Definitely take your time doing this, as there's no rush. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to support my channel. Thank you for your support. Getting the corners right was definitely tricky. I had to work around the pocket holes and the metal brackets underneath. Be very careful not to staple to the main part of the screen. Two hours later. The French cleat piece that's mounted to the wall is 40 inches for two reasons. Number one, I can mount the cleat piece across three separate studs, since my studs are 16 inches apart. The finished projector screen is not heavy at all, but you know, why not? And B, it allows me to move the projector screen left and right, so I can position it perfectly. And now for the moment of truth. I was able to pry my daughter away from Minecraft for five minutes so she could help me mount the screen. My home theater is still very much a work in progress, but this definitely was a big piece and I'm glad it's done. I'm gonna kick back and enjoy this one for a while before I start my next project. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something too. If you didn't, you probably weren't paying attention. This is Eddie, 
and I'll see you on the next video.